Metro Bank PLDT Online Bills Payment. How to pay your PLDT bills through Metro Bank Online Account. And if you're new to this channel and you want more helpful videos like this, please click the subscribe button. So ngayon magbabayad ako ng bill ko sa PLDT gamit yung online account ko with Metro Bank. Kung wala ka pang online account with Metro Bank, uh, meron kaming ginawang video for that. You may click this i button to check that video. So ngayon, I'll go to metrobank.com.ph. Ito yung website niya. And I'll click login. And enter ko dito yung username ko. And also my password. And click login. So currently, meron akong 3,299 dito sa account ko sa Metro Bank. And later on, dapat mabawasan to pag nagbayad na ako ng bills ko online sa PLDT. So, dito sa bandang kaliwa, uh, click Pay Bills. And dito, by default, kung mapapansin nyo, meron na agad registered biller. Um, in the past, nagbayad ako ng bill sa Dragon Pay. That's why na-register na rin siya dito. Uh, pero ngayon, hindi ako magbabayad dito. Ang gagawin ko is magbabayad ako sa PLDT. So, dapat mawala itong tick button na to pag pinili ko yung ibang category dito sa Special Biller. So, let's proceed. For category, I'll pick... Uh, here, telecommunications. So, nawala na agad yung tick. Ibig sabihan, hindi natin to babayaran. So, for biller, I'll look for PLDT. So, dito pwede ka magbayad sa iba. Like sa Globe, sa Smart, or sa Sky Broadband mo. Pwede yun. And others here. So, ang pipiliin ko is PLDT. For subscriber or account number, ito yung account number mo sa PLDT. So, I'll check my PLDT bill. So, buti na lang meron akong online account with PLDT. Pwede kong um, i-view online yung uh, bill ko. So, for the month of March, yun yung babayaran ko. I'll click view. So, ito yung account number ko. So, i-enter ko to sa Metro Bank. And for reference number, ano naman tong reference number ng PLDT? So, kung babalikan natin yung PLDT bill natin, wala kang makikita dito na uh, reference number. Instead, dito sa bandang baba, ito siya, napakaliit na numbers. Meron ditong statement of account number. Nung sinerge ko siya, uh, ito yung URL, pldthome.com. Yung statement of account number, this is, this is a distinct reference number assigned to your bill for a particular month. So, yung reference number or yung statement of account number, uh, nagbabago bago siya each month. So, balik tayo sa bill. Ito, never na itong magbabago. Itong account number. Uh, permanent na yan sa atin naka-assign. While for statement of account number, every month, nagbabago itong number na to. So, let's say for this particular month, it's 043352 yung start. Uh, lakyan lang natin. Ayan siya, 043529. Again, this is for the month of March. Ang due date is April 12th. Balik ako sa billing payment ko. If I'll take another month here, let's say, uh, itong January bill. Open ko siya. And lakihan ko din. Yung due date ito is Feb 12. Uh, so, basically, it's a January bill. Iba yung statement of account number niya. It's 043088 yung start. While for March, again, ito siya. It's 043529. So, nagbabago-bago nga yung statement of account number each month. Pero yung account number, ito yung, um, ito yung January bill ko. Scroll down ko pataas. Ito yung account number ko, permanent siya. Hindi siya nagbabago. Also for March bill. So again, yung account number, permanent siya. Yung statement of account or yung reference number dito sa bandang baba, nagbabago-bago. So I hope na hindi tayo super ma-confuse with that. So I'll go back to Metro Bank Online. So, I'll enter here the reference number or yung statement of account number for the billing month. So, ito yun. Ito yung sa March. 043529. 7860. So, 7860. I hope tama to. For phone number, ilalagay ko na lang dito yung uh, landline number ko. Yung which is binabayaran kong um, bill. 
And for select an account to debit, ito yung panggagalingan ng pambayad. So, isa lang naman yung account ko with Metro Bank. So, by default, nakatsik na siya. And for the amount, I'll enter here, 1,299. And for remarks, any remarks will do. So, lagay ko na lang din dito. And click continue. And for the next step, I'll review all these details. Kung tama naman lahat, go ahead and enter the one-time password na na-receive sa phone. And click confirm. So, maliro yung OTP ko. Ulitin ko lang. And click confirm again. So, here's the confirmation. The, uh, this confirms receipt of your bill payment transaction. You may print this page for your reference. So, ito yung transaction reference number. I'll go ahead and save this. Ito siya. So, save as PDF. So, dito may option ako na i-register to as new biller. Kung maalala nyo kanina sa start ng video natin, ito siya. Uh, Naka-register na itong Dragon Pay dito kasi na-register ko siya as biller. Pero for now, hindi ko muna siya gagawin. So, balik ka tayo sa account summary ko. So, naging 2,000 pesos na lang ulit yung pera ko dito. So, I'll click this. So, ito siya. Nabawasan na nga siya ng 1,299 pesos after ko magbayad ng uh, PLDT bill online dito sa Metro Bank. And that's it. Sana nakatulong tong video na to. Please let us know by clicking the like button. You may also check these videos. These are other videos on how to pay your bills online. And also, in case you're interested, may mga videos din kami about money investment. So, maliit na halaga, pwede kang makapag-umpisa mag-invest online. And this is Lou from Invest Library. Until next time, bye-bye.